Piggy's trying to count to a hundred. And when she gets there, she can have a pie as a special reward for doing it. Well, am I nearly there? I'm on 16. Is it nearly pie time? Not quite, Wiggy. <gasps> hey, do you remember what happened in Hairyland with pie? Oh, loads happens in Hairyland with pie. <laughs> oh, Harry's love pie. No, but listen to this. It's a really good pie story. <laughs> it was Pumperdong time in Hairyland. And if you don't know what Pumperdongs are, you soon will. <laughs> you see, we were flying around on our Popper Picky looking for adventure, <laughs> like we do. <laughs> And in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, we saw these. Pumperdongs! Pumperdongs grown by Pa! Pa was very proud of them. And Minnie was very proud of Pa. We flew in and landed in the furry fur country. Wow! Pa's pumperdongs are the biggest I've ever seen. And the funniest look. <laughs> His puppet dogs had made Pa so happy. But Pa's always happy, isn't he? It's Pa. It's Pa. It's Pa. It's Pa. It's Pa. It's one big ha ha ha. Whatever he does, wherever he goes, there's a ha ha ha. And everyone knows it's Pa. It's Pa. And today, Ma was happy too. She was making a pumperdong pie. Oh yes, this was the day for pumperdongs and pies. But up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was having soup. Can you guess who? Boris Boo Hoo, what's he gonna do? Who? Boris's pumperdongs had grown too. But they were teeny and green <laughs> and whiskery. Nothing like pa -ha -ha's at all. Because Boris Boohoo is too lazy to look after his garden. <laughs> Ooh. Back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Pa and Minnie were playing stepping stones with the pumperdongs when... <laughs> Nana Ha Ha arrived! <laughs> Nana had never seen such fantastic pumperdongs in her life. <laughs> And just then, Ma came out with her pumperdong pie. The smell of the pumperdong pie floated past us. <laughs> Boris had heard the whooping and cheering, so he looked through his hairy staring. And he saw what was going on down in the valley. Pie! Pie is Boris's absolutely favourite thing. He had an idea. So he rang the Boise bell. And Boise came running. And just then, they both smelt the pumperdong oh. pie. So Boris told Boise to go to the Ha Ha Harry's and get some pie and bring it back. He told him to be all cute and nice, like this. Boise was always happy to go and visit the Ha Ha Harry's, so he was off in a Boris picked up the Harry Starry to check what was going on. Back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, the Harry's were still loving their pumperdong pies, especially Nana. <laughs> Ma had an idea and went inside. <laughs> Nana loves pie nearly as much as she loves painting. Yes, but I think maybe I love pie even more than Nana does, Chris. <laughs> Ma came out with her big cookbook to show Nana the pumperdong pie recipe. And just then, Boise arrived. Hi! Boris was impatient. Why didn't Boise just get on with asking for pie? 
Minnie gave Boise some pie. Which meant there was only one bit left. <laughs> Boo. Boris needed Boise to act fast if he was ever going to get the last bit of pie. But just then, Chihuahua came out of his doggy den. I bet I know what's going to happen next. <laughs> and Nana gave him the last bit of pie. <laughs> Oh. And Boris Boohoo went! Oh boy, Boris was so cross! He had an idea! What he needed was the cookbook, and then he could make his own pompadong pie! Now you know Boris, he's too proud to ask to borrow anything, so now he needed... a plan! Miss Twig, the teacher! Yes, he was going to try to hide Ma's cookbook in his basket of teachery books. So a little later, in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Minnie and Boise were so excited. <laughs> a teacher, a real teacher. Except it's not a real teacher, is it? It's Boris Boo. Oh, yes, I knew that. <laughs> they couldn't wait to get learning things. But Miss Twig, the teacher, had her eye on the cookbook. She was just about to grab it when Ma cleared it off the table. Oh. Boris didn't have time to get his hands on it. Ma, Pa and Nana went inside so that Miss Twig could get on with the teaching. Tired to reach for the cookbook, but Nana got it first, and off she went home to her arty den. Nana's taken the book. Nana's got the book. He can't get the recipe. <laughs> he just did all of that teaching for nothing. Oops. <laughs> Miss Twig, the teacher, said it was time for her to go. Minnie and Boise begged her to stay. But it was no good. She had other children to teach, she said. Bye-bye, Miss Teacher Person. <laughs> Bye. Shush. Later, back at Chateau Shampoo, Boris heard more laughing floating up from the valley. And if his day hadn't been bad enough already, it had just got worse. Nana had made an enormous pompadour pie for everyone to share. <laughs> everyone that is, except Boris. <gasps> Thank you.
Oh, Boris is so proud and silly. If he just asked if he could have some pie, Ma would have given him some. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not too proud to ask for pie, Quiff. Please, can I have some pie? <laughs> when you've counted to a hundred. Nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it when you try. <laughs> Quicker. <laughs> 